So for part three, we've um, added our findings to this, and I know it doesn't look like it from here, but you'll see shortly when we start siphoning it off, because there's a lot of sediment in the bottom of here. And so I'm gonna grab another bucket, and I'm gonna simply siphon it into this little bucket here. Now I know we're talking about sanitizing and everything like that, but this, very shortly, is going to be distilled and so it's going to be turned into a very high alcohol so I'm not really giving two hoots about uh, sucking at the moment. Come on in James have a look at this. You guys can see that I've raised the back of the bucket up so I can get all the sediment in. As you said there is a lot of sediment in here. Ooh, look at that. Yum yum yum. Anyway we don't need any of that. Let's get rid of that. And a quick wipe of that. Okay, so we've got about five litres of um, sugar wash. Okay, I know it's not as clear as I would ideally love, but it's going to be clear enough for what we need to do. Now, I think the alcohol percentage in here is around about the 15% mark. So the next steps is to freeze it. So I'm going to use a plastic bottle so that if it does expand, it doesn't explode the bottle. Um, and we're then going to pop it in the freezer. So, with your siphon, trusty siphon, in it goes, another good sucking. And, I'm gonna fill our bottle up. I'm gonna squeeze our bottle, get rid of all the air, put the top on, and now we've got a good level of expansion as it expands. And now this is going to go in the freezer and try and get it as cold and as frozen as possible. Now, I'm hoping this will be frozen solid in 24 hours. Um, I'll let you know. Now, technically, distilling in the UK is illegal. Um, but I think right now there's other things to worry about. And if we're talking about this sort of amount, and we're not really looking at drinking it, um, we're looking at using it as hand sanitizer. Fingers crossed, um, everybody will kind of be okay with it. So, there is another way of doing it. This here, this little beautiful thing here, is called an air still. Um, and the air still is very, very good at um, doing things like uh, creating essential oils, but it will also turn our sugar wash to um, an alcoholic liquid uh, of an ABV of about 60%. So there are a couple of issues with distilling alcohol uh, for drinking, um, as that there are a few different parts to alcohol, you can get something called methanol, uh, which is turned into methylated spirits, and ethanol, which is the stuff that gets us drunk, um, which is then turned into whiskies and vodkas and gins. Um, so that's one of the reasons why you shouldn't really be distilling at home, because if you start drinking methanol, um, it can actually be quite bad for you. So. We're not going to be planning on drinking this, we're going to be distilling this for hand sanitizer. So I'm literally just going to pour our sugar wash in. Now this is for four litres and it's almost to the full line. Perfect. You can see my full line just here. And all we're going to do now is put the top on, plug it in. Down here is a little special reset button. We're going to press that. And we're now going to plug it in and switch it on. Uh, I'm going to shortly put a jug under here so as soon as it does actually start distilling, it's going to catch um, all the drips. So ideally, let's turn that off for a few moments so I can hear you. Of that four litres, um, we're hopefully going to get about a litre of um, high strength alcohol and then we'll use our hydrometer to actually check out what we've got uh, in the strength. So I will switch this on now, it's going to take about an hour to get up to temperature and then we'll start seeing some drips come through. So I'll come back and I'll show you that in a moment. So the still is dripping, and as you can see, I've got about a hundred mil here already of 
what we hope to be high alcohol. Yeah, definitely smells alcoholic. So here I've got my trial jar. Let's pour that into my trial jar. Because having about 100 mil means we can test it. There we go, look at that, Isn't that good. Got it. So, come here a second, James, because um, what people might not know is there are different hydrometers for different things. So this hydrometer here I've got on the right-hand side, which I'm turning around now, uh, this is for measuring the amount of sugar that's in a liquid. Um, and therefore, you can use that to work out what your original gravity is, um, what your final gravity is, and therefore do a simple calculation to work out how much alcohol's in it. However, putting that into here right now, it's going to do absolutely nothing, and it should sink right to the bottom. And it is wanting to let go, so I'm not going to let go because that means I've got to try and work it out, uh, get it out. This one, however, come on in James, this one's slightly different. This is a alcohol hydrometer. So this measures the amount of alcohol in a beer or alcohol in a liquid um, rather than how much sugar's in it. So you can pop this into a bottle of 40% whiskey and it will drop to the 40% mark. So let's drop this in and let's see where this drops to. So, oh, let's go to a little bit clearer area where we can see it that way. So this is sitting at about 62-64% ABV. So, with the air still, we know that we're going to get 64% ABV. And to kill this horrible COVID-19, they're saying that um, hand sanitizers need to be at least 60% ABV. So, we're on our way. Let's keep it dripping. The drips have really started to slow down now, so thinking that uh, we're getting near the end. We've got to uh, about 800 mil, so we'll stop it there and we'll see what the ABV is coming out now. Right, I'm going to give this a quick stir, just to make sure all the alcohol at the top and the bottom is kind of all kind of... You know what I mean. So, let's put 100 mil in my trial jar. Get the alcohol hydrometer. Drop it in and see what's coming out. Let's turn it around a bit for you, Jake. Okay, so after it's been bubbling away for, or dripping away, I should say, for quite some time, it's now coming out at about 48%. So that's not going to be high enough because remember I said it's going to have to be between 60 and 70. So, nice easy thing we can do with this is we've got the still we can double distill. So let me just take the top off. It's been sat here for a little while now. It's been sat for about 10, 15 minutes to, to cool down. And when you first take it off, you do get a bit of A little bit of steam. As you can see, it's not actually reduced that much. Remember the, the full lines here. So uh, of course, this is what we've got off of it. So this is what we're gonna throw away. And then we're gonna pour that back in and get it going again. Second distillation's taking place and I've had about half a litre come out already so I've just stirred it around and taken a hydrometer reading now and it's coming at about 75%. So this gives us a good leeway so that we can add some other things, perhaps some aloe vera gel or some glycerine to it to make it a little bit nicer on our hands when we rub it in. Okay, just a little few more drips to go and then we'll call it a night.